What's going on YouTube? Today's video, I'll be making another Pokeo. For the key I'm building, I'm going to be building it for myself. Let's go ahead and start off with a pin. It's going to be a radial pin, and it's made out of aluminum. So, you, so I can control the weight. And for the forearm, I got this from Pather. This is a 6 point, 3 high, 3 lows. Cocoa ball of wood with ebony points and veneers. You can see it's yellow, black, and red. Then it has your ebony, and it continues into your short points. For the handle, I got this from Bell Forest. This is curly maple. For the butt sleeve, I'm going to be using cocoa ball of wood. I also got this from Bell Forest. And it continues to your butt sleeve. This one came with the uh, forearm itself and it came from Pather. This one is just ebony. For the joint collar and the butt cap, I'll be using this Averon. This is the imitation ivory. And for the bumper, I'm going to be using a Southwest style bumper. I'm going to be having black fiber rings throughout the queue. And to join everything, I'm going to be using this all thread. This is aluminum, uh, 3 8 by 10, and I'll be cutting it 4 inches long. Here's the finished queue. This is how the Coco Bolo turned out with the 6 points, the 3 highs and 3 lows. Let's go ahead and start off with the pin. This is the black aluminum pin. This is the imitation ivory. And I got the thin ring over here, and then you can see the points. And they're pretty even, they're close to even. You got the yellow, black, red, and then you have your ebony points, and it continues into your short points. And if you rotate it, I signed it over here. And I have a fiber ring here, then it goes into your curly maple for the handle. And you can see the curls. Unfortunately, when I turned it, it had the veins, so I just left it. This uh, brings it some character. Cue still nice, I think. And this is the Coco Ball from Belfort, and it, they try to match it with the nose of the cue um, itself. It's a little bit brighter on the orange, but hopefully in time, this should turn a little bit darker, and it should match with um, the nose. And of course you have your fiber ring, fiber ring, and the ebony. It's pretty much almost, imitation looks so black, but it's actually wood. Then your fiber ring, and then the imitation ivory, and then a Southwest style bumper. And I also tapped it so it accepts a Predator bumper, bumper extension. And of course, I don't like putting weights on my cues. And you can see that it has no weights. And I also made joint protectors with the leftover Coco Bolo. This one is for the butt, and this one is for the shaft, and this is how it turned out. You can see the wood on this one. And we're gonna go ahead through the measurements of this cue and the weight of the cue. So let's go ahead and weigh the cue. This has no weights in it. With the aluminum pin and the aluminum connector on the A joint, the total weight is 14.20 ounces. And if we add my playing shaft, the total weight equals to 18.20 zero ounces. So the shaft itself is almost four ounces, 3.95 ounces. So let's go ahead, get the um, total length of the cue. It's a little bit over 29 inches, but it's technically a 29 inch cue, making it a total of uh, 58 inches. And when we made it, You can see how the ring works match. And it looks nice with that imitation ivory. And look how flush it is. That's like my biggest pet peeve on any cues, is making sure the joints are flush. I don't like any lip when you feel it for your transition between your shaft and your um, the butt of the cue. 
So let's go ahead and do the roll test on the cue and see how straight it is. Let's go ahead and do the roll test. Let's go ahead and place the cue on the rail itself. So this is the joint below the rail. And if you look at the tip, and you can see how it has no wobbles. And then if you place the joint above the rail, and you look at the tip, and you'll pretty see pretty much almost no wobble. And that's how you can tell if the joint is actually straight with the shaft itself and how straight the pin is. So let's go ahead and roll it on the bed of the table. This is together and of course no wobbles. And for some reason, everyone likes to do everything apart. So this is how it looks apart. That's the butt of the cue. And of course the shaft. And you can see they have no wobble. I did a brief showing on the cue I made. Hopefully this video is informative. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget the thumbs up. Bye bye. Let's go test out the roll test. No, do it again. Do it again.